we have the Jumper Giaki 800mm BTO L wing with a pick spaced F405 flight controller and if you get the ready to fly version the Jumper T Pro comes with it as you can see I upgraded and added a 5 inch East Sheen Mono Eagle uh, monitor LCD to it 5.8 DAC monitor you can get the bracket from Stevia TV monitors everywhere for sale but uh, I'm going to make a little video and show you how easy this is to put together it comes packed together pretty well you're going to want to do a couple mods to the case I put some uh, black duct tape on the lid hinges because they're glued in cheap plastic hinges and they'll fall off if you don't put something on there to add some durability to it it comes with the uh, three props and um, you're going to want to make also mods to where the servo linkage rubs in the box because it rubs too tight and if you store it in the box it's going to wind up bending the linkage eventually but it's fairly easy and like I said it also comes with all the VTX and camera connection wires too once you add a VTX and camera <clears throat> so um, I also modded the lid I put some ventilation holes so the fuselage gets uh, ventilation so it doesn't get hot in there we all know the cooler it runs the better effic efficiency the battery will have put a little uh, gold windshield in there and I also took my soldering iron and melted away the lid to fit the battery better a lipo battery better 2000 2200 battery better and put some uh, more glue on the hinges just to add durability but the wings pack in pretty good very easy to take out they just lock in place there and you just pop them out And as far as putting it together, it's really easy. Just take your time. Make sure you, you lock it in tight. Make sure you, uh, oh, you're also going to want to mod right here where the wire comes out of the wing for the servo because it's not enough space and it winds up pinching and you don't want it pinched. So you're going to want to take an X-Acto knife and mod that. You'll see when you get it. But make sure your wires and your plugs stuff back in there very tight. Just slide your little pins in and you want to wait to hear it. It's like two snaps on the underside. There's little pins. Little pins. And when it snaps, they lock. And that's also how you unlock it. You push those pins in to pull the wing off. So then you can repeat the same process over here. And excuse me if I'm sniffling or anything. I've been a little bit sick like everybody else around the world. But like I said, take your time putting these in. Make sure they're stuffed back in tight because you don't want the wires being pinched either. Sometimes you might have to take a toothpick. And like I said, you want to wait until you hear both clicks. And then you know it's locked in. I put an analog uh, T, uh, Fox Air T-Rex cam in it and a TBS Unified 1 Watt BTX Pro 32. I hot glued the T-Rex in so it's tight in place. Um, later on I'll explain about enabling the VTX and all, but you're also going to want to modify the front where the cam goes in because they didn't, I guess, take into account that the nose cone would show the way they have it so you're gonna to have to take an exacto knife or whatever and take away a good amount off the off the nose of it but otherwise 
it's it's pretty good and like I said it's a pick space flight controller goes together fairly easy and um, also you're going to have to if you get the ready to fly the TX comes with 2.7.1 edge TX and yet through telemetry 1.9.6 development version and it's all in Chinese sound pack and the sound pack in the SD card is labeled English but of course it's coming out Chinese so you're going to have to go into the SD card contents in the uh, Edge TX and remove the English Chinese sound pack that's in there now and put in the correct English sound pack for 2.7.1 and also with Yapu telemetry 1.9.6 you're gonna have to remove the whole sound pack from the SD card content and put back in 1.9.5 SD card content sound pack otherwise you're gonna have to learn how to speak Chinese to operate this later on in the video I'll show you more okay just a little more setup video and once again like I said it's running ELRS 3.0 I put my receiver outside stood it up and I got the TBS Unify 1 watt uh, Pro 32 VTX trans transmitting very very good video and if you can tell like I said you're going to have to mod the front of this out so the camera doesn't pick up the nose cone in the video you'll see that when you put your cam in everyone's had this problem but fairly easy to hook up all plug and play cables come with everything you need and uh, let's get this thing powered up and show you a little bit more just to get it get you a little more familiar with it oh, let me turn all of this on first Beautiful, beautiful video. Beautiful video with the T-Rex and the 1 Watt TBS Unified Pro. But just get you a little idea so you can see that everything works very well. Easy as that. But remember, like I said, the sound pack in the Ready to Fly T, uh, Jumper T Pro that comes with it is labeled English, but it speaks Chinese, and you're going to have to remove the Yapu telemetry pack sound. I mean SD card sound pack and the Edge TX SD card English version. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with a Chinese sound pack. Also, as far as the props, the rear and front right prop spin counterclockwise 
front left spins clockwise, as you can see in the video. Okay, I 100% recommend new users uh, download the Autopilot Mission Planner Configurator from the GitHub depository because you're going to need it to access the SV, FC parameters to uh, enable the VTX and OSD. So once you uh, have it downloaded and extracted, you can open it. You just open it like that. And then, like I said, it's loaded with uh, 4.2.2 Ardu Plane and 1.3.79 Mission Planner. And once you have that open, plug your USB into the FC of the wing and then plug the other end into the laptop. Wait for both sets of beeps. And then hit connect. Let it read the FC. And while it's reading the FC, I just want to remind you that you're going to have to go into the VTX and, uh, and enable it. It's under the configurator tab. And it's in the advanced params where you will enable the VTX and set the protocol and band channel and power. Weather's horrible here, so I'm not getting a satellite map today, but no big deal. So, like I said, you go into the configurator screen, and you hit the advanced params, and the, uh, all the params will come up on the screen, and you scroll down until you find the VTX, which is at the very end, or you can hit the help and punch in VTX, and it'll help you and find it for you. But when you get there, you have to enable VTX, set your protocol, set your bands and channel, and your power. Also, I had uh, a problem with my right front motor not tilting all the way up, so I had to reset the servo uh, setting and raise it a little bit. And I also had to adjust the motor tilting speed because it was tilting down way too slow. They had it set on 10. And I raised it to, I believe, like 40. So it would roll down quicker. But after you enable the OSD1, also in the advanced params, the VTX enable. And make sure your servos and everything is operating correctly. Then you can go and to the onboard OSD page and hit screen one and your OSD will pop up. That's what I have set up for myself. And down at the bottom, you just scroll that and everything you need that you want to put on your screen for telemetry is there and it's easily movable if you have a touch screen when you're done setting your parameters and your uh, all your telemetry up you just hit right customization boom back out and it's as simple as that I have no screen oh there it is okay so yeah we're having a bad storm right now but I just want to remind you that it's pretty mandatory to download this Autopilot configurator because you're going to need to get into it to adjust these parameters and set the VTX up and the OSD. But once you're done, you just disconnect. You're done and that's simple. Hope that this was helpful. See you in the sky. A quick rundown. Remember, you're going to have to download Autopilot Mission Planner Configurator out of the GitHub depository. And the uh, wing is loaded with 4.2.2 Autoplane, 1.3.79 uh, Mission Planner. The TX, if you get ready to fly, is Edge TX 2.7.1 and 1.9.6 Yapu telemetry and remember you are going to have to remove the sound packs out of both of those on the SV card and replace them with the English version sound packs 
otherwise the LCD mount can be purchased through Speedy FPV. They have an assortment that will fit anything, uh, LCD or even your phone if you need using Mavlink and downloading Google Maps or anything, you can put your phone on it. Once again, I hope everything was helpful. I mounted the Lumineer Access 2 V2 under the wing as you can see in the pic.